Good evening, good evening. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hi, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? How is your Thursday, your Thursday, your Wednesday going? <laughs> Everything okay? Everything nice? I'm good, teacher. All right, good to hear that. Uh, Brenda, are you working? Are you still out there? No, it's es, in el super. <laughs> oh, all right, I see. Wow. Pero ya camino. Okay, but thanks a lot. This is for connectarse like super early. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, Ricardo. Hi, Natalie. Good I'm evening. glad to see you. Hi, Jocelyn. Carlos. How are you? Pedrita, Hi, teacher. hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How is your Wednesday? Hey, I'm glad to see you like early. Yeah, the thing is that I I'm trying to I'm trying to do exercise before. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. but but I feel too 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 active. That's the problem already. So gracias por conectarse a nuestra sesión número 17. Nos faltarían solamente tres, right? Terminamos el día lunes para quienes todavía tenían esa duda en su corazón. <laughs> we are going to be finishing on Monday already. Teacher, are you take a shower? Uh, yeah. Oh, you got a point there. Deme un segundito y ya le confirmo. Because, yeah, you're right. No recordaba que el lunes es asueto. But give me one second. I understand your equation now. So hold on. I see. Okay, give me one second. Okay, let me just make sure I got the information right. Um, oh, you're right. It's a real día martes. So we are going to be finishing on May the 11th, all right? So that will make it on, Monday, uh, on Tuesday because el 10 es cierto, es el Día de las Madres, so it's like a holiday and we are not working. Y espero que ustedes tampoco. I hope you are having a holiday as well. So we are finishing on May the 11th, all right? Yeah, thank you so much for that. Gracias por, por el detalle. It had skipped, you know? It had slipped my mind. So, um, vamos a, a, a dar inicio, como siempre lo hacemos, con eh, asistencia, you know, nuestro control de asistencia. Eh, si me ayudan con su, su camarita, please, like, let me know you're there. And also, eh, so, para que nos quede acá también in the, in la, in el recording, right? En la grabación que ustedes estuvieron por acá as well. So, um, I have Anna. Ana ya está por acá con nosotros. Are you around? Are you with us? Ana, Ana, no yet. Eh, Brenda se estaba por ahí. Like, I see you there. Yes, Thank you first so much. Time. Eh, Brian, Brian, are you with us? Hi, Brian. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Yeah. Jasmine, yes, Jasmine is here. Hi. Present, teacher. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you're good. Hope you're doing good. Danny Anthony. Hi, Danny. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Oh, you are. Thank you. Uh, Danis. Hi, Danis. Teacher. Yeah. I do take a shower. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I do it every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. Uh, Daisy, Daisy Lorena, are you with us, Daisy? Present. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. Giovanni, Giovanni, Giovanni. I don't see him yet. Oh, there you are. Hi, Giovanni. Hey, good evening. Glad you're here. Natalie. For, yeah, thank you very much, Miss. Gracias por unirse as well. Ingrid, um, I don't see Ingrid. No, not yet. Um, Jackie. Hi, Jacqueline. Present, teacher. I'm glad to see you. Jocelyn. Yes, milagro. <laughs> now we can see her. We can see her there. Norberto, Norbert. Hi, teacher. 
Present teacher. Yes, awesome. Miriam. Oh, Claribel. Okay. Moses. Creo que por ahí veamos Moses también. I am here. Good evening. Hi, Moses. Good evening. Uh, Pedrina. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Pedrina. Super cool to see you. René. Hi, René. Super early. Yeah. La vi bien tempranito por acá. Thanks a lot. Uh, Ricardo. También lo escuché super early. Yes, teacher. Pres okay. Present. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Abigail. Sandra está con nosotros. Present, teacher. Yes. Nice. Good evening. Hello. Eh, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth is not here yet. Okay, um, Ana Jansi. Angel. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Angel. Carlos Alberto. Carlos, si lo escuché some minutes ago. Thank you very much. Guadalupe. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. Ignacio. Hi, Ignacio. Hi, teacher. Hi, I good evening. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> And Marvin. <laughs> Marvin is not here. Yeah, well, guys, I take a shower every day. So, <laughs> okay. Well, gracias a todos por estar acá. Ana, ya la vi también por acá. So, thanks a lot. Ya veo que Hello, se teacher. There. Thank you very much for being here. Um, me falta alguien. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Listen. Hello, thank you. Thank you very much. Elizabeth, hello. Present teacher. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining. No la lograba ver, but I'm happy you're there. So um today we are having like session number 17. Ahora sí ya la veo. <laughs> and vamos a continuar hablando un poquito de esa parte de you know eh, tourism, hotels, y un poquito de futuro también. Yesterday comenzamos con este tema. Today vamos ya a hablar un poquito más generalizado about questions, cómo hacer preguntas sobre lo que vamos a hacer in the future. Eh, some vocabulary related to hotels as well. Okay. And some terms que nos van a ayudar en este ambiente. All right. Uh, yesterday veíamos un par de palabritas. Entonces revisemos las today. Let's make a little review about this. And to start, tengo un par de preguntas para ustedes. So if you can help me and give your opinion about them, that would be amazing. So, um, okay. So the first we have is what are the best and the worst things about staying in a hotel? ¿Cuáles son las mejores y las peores? All right. So, si alguna vez han tenido la oportunidad de quedarse en un pequeño hotel, in a hostel, in a guest house, eh, o con Airborne or any like experience like that what are the best and worst things about staying in a hotel can you give me like your input me pueden ayudar any idea you have the best is uh, service room okay so the best is room service okay thank you anything else algo que recuerden si alguna vez han ido al de Cameron also that counts so the best and the worst. Yeah. Have you ever been to, to the Cameron, a Paradise, or, or esos tipos de hoteles que ofrecen como un day pass, or like one day stay, or on vacation, or something like this? Hay algo que consideren, like you say, oh, this is really bad. Anybody? In, in some being place, uh, uh, words, uh, is uh, the food. Okay, the food is good or the worst. But, <laughs> mejor but, but, mejor. but words, ah, okay. words, the food is in, the worst. In some in place. Mm -hmm. in, in, in some places. Okay, yeah, in some places, yeah. food is the worst. Es lo peor. Okay, got it. What about the rest of you? What, what do you think? Um, the quality of food. The quality of food too? It, yeah. The best or the worst? Lo mejor the or best. lo peor? Best. The best. Okay. Best. For example, 
¿En qué lugar would you say that the quality of food is super good? Uh, by uh, the sun. The sol. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the quality of food is good. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, very nice. Nice, nice. Or other, other, other hotel is Ojas Rizzo. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the food is okay. It's acceptable. Sí. Okay. Oh, ser, service, uh, food. Okay. Uh, all. Okay, the food and the service is okay. Alrighty, thank you. Um, Teacher, well, yes, tell me, Marvin. The bed, the bed, the room in Crow Plaza de Guatemala. The bed. Uh, so, so, the bed. Crown Plaza, uh, Guatemala. Y, y la piscina, no sé cómo se dice. The Está pool. La the swimming uh -huh. pool. Ah, okay, no. okay. Nice, I'm glad to hear about a swimming pool. Okay, sounds good. Now let's move on. Let's take a look at the second. Do you feel comfortable when you stay in a hotel? ¿Se sienten cómodos being in a hotel? Or do you prefer... No, teacher, no, no. Do you prefer your house? Uh, yeah, it's comfortable. Okay, so your house is comfortable, all right. So uh, I have a question for Jancy. Veo que también está por acá. Hi, Jancy. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Hello, Jancy. Jancy, I know you are in the part of tourism. Okay, so usted pertenece a la parte de turismo del Tunco, like in that area. So I think that you can be the best choice. Okay, para recomendarnos sobre hoteles, hostels, or guest house en la parte del Tunco. So, um, what is the best place that you can recommend us uh, to stay in el, at el Tunco? Um, hotel Papaya Lunch. Ah, okay. Is that exactly <laughs> like in, in, the, in the center of el Tunco, Speech? Yes. Okay. Yeah. In front, in front the beach. Okay, in front of the beach. What about mm -hmm. amenities, guys? Recuerden que era amenities. Do you remember the meaning of amenities? Yes, teacher. La, los extra. Los extra, right? Like gym, a swimming pool, uh, something extra. Hotels provide. Fridge in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, like the jacuzzi. <laughs> okay. So, Jancy, ¿qué amenities tiene papaya, papaya lunch, you said? Um, Is there a beach? A swimming pool. Okay. A beach. Uh, a swimming pool. Uh -huh. uh, rooms, uh, the two bed or one bed mm -hmm. or three bed. Oh, okay. Um, restaurant. Mm, okay. Is the, food, is the food good? Is the food acceptable? Uh, everybody, Tunco Beach, good uh, restaurant, good uh, food. Okay. Uh, very, very Tunco Beach. Okay. At El Papaya, you said. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so long. good. Sounds actually like a good Tunko place to stay. The Tunco lunch. What about Tunko. the prices? Uh, and papaya lunch, um, sorry, sorry dollar. Okay. Uh, Fifteen dollar. Mm -hmm. For a little, uh, for a little like hot. For a cabanita, like for a room. Ah, uh, no, uh, so. Habitación, ¿cómo se dice? Room. Uh-huh. A room. Okay. No, no. Okay, so like per room, you say $30 or $50. Okay. Okay, that sounds totally good. Thank you for the recommendation. So, Jancy recommend, uh, recommends this papaya lunch, right, at El Tunco. So that sounds like a good place we can go to. 
Um, now, what about this one, guys? Do you have any interesting stories <laughs> about any place where you stayed? Alguna vez, I don't know, los han asustado, like any story, or you heard they called your name, I don't know, anything? Yes, no sometimes. Ne no necessarily in, in, in a big hotel, right? Pero puede ser como cuando van al pital y se quedan en una cabañita, like a little hut, for example. So any stories you can tell us. Yes, Natalie. Tell us what happened to you. What stories <laughs> would you like to share? Um, uh, una vez, oh, bueno, eh, I went uh, on an hotel in Guatemala. I had a room for six dollars, but my roommate was uh, many cockroaches. Many, many cockroaches. Yes. Wow. Uh, uh, the cockroaches walk, walk uh, um, on my <laughs> skin. <laughs> no, that's but so I disgusting. Get, <laughs> I get uh, for six dollars. Six dollars per night. Yes. <laughs> but it was full of cockroaches. Sí, yes. <laughs> okay. I think it was okay. I mean, the price was okay, but the cockroaches were not like something um, good, you know, sure. something acceptable. Ignacio, tell us, what's your experience? Um, in the in vacation, uh -huh. <clears throat> I went with my family to a small hotel. Okay, where? Here in, in Salvador? Uh, in, in El Salvador, on the beach, uh, San Diego Beach. Okay. San Diego Beach. And uh, it, the difference mm -hmm. is the, in, at, the, at the door, at the entrance, mm -hmm. sorry, el, el entrada. The gate, the gate. Como the gate. El, the gate, okay, the gate uh -huh. como el portón. Uh, the gate. Um, están, están, uh -huh. el cipitillo, la ciguanaba y otro personaje. Ok, you mean like. Están, que están, están en, en, en tamaño no, natural, digamos. You mean like uh, personas vestidas, like people dressed up, o like estatuas, like little, estatuas. ok. Est Estatua, very natural. Okay. It is not good idea for the... To go to that hotel. hotel. Yeah. Well, especially, I think, si somos como super... Uh, kind of, we believe in superstitions, right? And you're going to be like, oh, el cipitillo is going to, I don't know, scare me at night. Okay. So, okay. But, but creo que nunca lo he so I think I haven't seen that. I like the I like San Diego's beach. To be honest with you, I don't know why. Creo que es mucho más eh, comfortable to go to San Diego than El Tunco or any of those places. But ya vamos a hablar de eso, and you will tell me a little bit. Um, any other experience besides El Cipitillo? Well, the hotel with El Cipitillo, the cockroaches, which is so disgusting. <laughs> uh, and uh, any other story you would like to share with with us? Not many? Okay, no worries. You will share that later. Antes de movernos, before moving on, eh, I want to go ahead and check, eh, please check the chat, okay? Um, I have written here a couple of words. Por ejemplo, tenemos la palabra once, okay? So once es como cuando decimos una vez, okay? O cuando contamos una historia. So una vez me pasó eso. Once I did this. Once I went to a place. So we can use once, de una vez. Also, we have the word disgusting. So disgusting is when you say algo desagradable, right? Algo asqueroso. So disgusting. And also we have cockroaches, que son como las flying cockroaches. Uh, todo tipo de bichos, you know, like bugs. Um, so I think nobody likes cockroaches. So that is the word, okay? Para cucarachas. That's the one that we use. And the last one is gate, all right? Like Ignacio nos estaba contando que había en la entrada, you know? So normally cuando son portones grandes, so we call them gate, okay? Como un portón, como una puerta grande, that's a gate. 
not a door, okay? So um, let's move on then. And the last one that we have here is the nicest hotel. What is the nicest hotel you have stayed at? Eh, Danis nos contaba antes Las Hojas Resort, um, Pacific, no, El Sol, Pacific, I don't, I don't remember, but it was something like Del Sol, Bahía del Sol, I think you mentioned. Bahia, yeah. Okay, uh, Marvin nos hablaba de Crown in, in Guatemala, okay. What about the rest of you? What is the nicest hotel? No necessarily tiene que ser caro, you know, or anything. Puede solamente ser un guest house, un lugar de, de huéspedes, de forasteros, you know. Uh, that you have stayed at. Hay algún lugar que les haya parecido like very, very cool, super nice. Yes, miss. Where? No, no is, no is, oh, uh, a hotel? What, mm -hmm. what kind? It's not a hotel. Uh -huh. It is, no, it is um, El Harro. Harro. In Guatemala. In Guatemala. Okay. What is that? Like a restaurant? Uh, it is, uh, como museo de música o mm, pero okay. uh -huh, or Costa Rica oh, en Costa Rica Guatemala oh. y Costa Rica so hard rock you said yes okay. Guatemala en Costa Rica thank yes. you oh also ya nos cool. mencionaba papaya in Arel Tunco what about the rest of you guys any place that you recommend it's, it's <coughs> hard rock Okay, already. Okay, I, I guess we don't have like too many. No worries. You will tell us a little bit more about your experiences. Igual, verdad? Si todavía no hemos tenido la oportunidad to stay in a hotel, it's totally fine. Hopefully, soon. Ya viene el fin de semana largo también. So hopefully, you can have the chance to do it. So that's fine. Yesterday, veíamos un par de palabras too. We were checking some words, for example, room service, vending machine, front desk, booking, uh, deposit, and adjoining bathroom, all right? So yesterday, les más o menos explicaba, les daba una idea de what they mean. And today, quiero que me ayuden recordando the meaning of the words, okay? Especially uh, utilizando un ejemplo por ellas, right? So, um, can you give me some examples about room service? Puede ser una oración. It can be a sentence using the word room service or the meaning of room service. Whatever is easier for you. Uh, I need uh, room service very early. Ah, okay, so I need to get room service early. Thank you. What about vending machine? Can you give me an example using vending machine? Teacher. Yes. I remember in, in Japan. Uh -huh. in, in, at the at the at the, that sorry, that is that is not a hotel. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a building okay. from, from different uh, uh, students, different students okay. from different country. Okay. But, but country um, like El Salvador. Mm -hmm. or like, like, their, like the residential area, like in the campus? Is is a building. Okay. And uh, the door inside the uh, have a vending machine. And, okay. And have a beer kirin. What? What? The, what is that? And <laughs> have a vending machine. And inside, uh -huh. how beer, beer, oh, beer. Is okay. a, beer, kirin is a mark of Japan. Oh, okay. like a like a pilsner here. Oh, got it, got it. So that was the name, that was the brand of the beer. Oh, okay, okay. Did you taste it? 
Dicho. Did you taste it? La probó. Sí, yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, Marvin, tell me. Okay, so that's taste, the probar. Un service is exercise. It's better to go down to the restaurant. Ah, okay. Yes, I agree with you. Or to the street, right? The room service is expensive most of the times. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So vending machine, okay, Ignacio says that he saw one vending machine with beer, okay. Any other example with vending machine? Or with front desk? Can you help me with your examples? So if you remember yesterday we checked the vending machine, son las mas, las máquinas, right? Those are the machines snacks. where you can get a snacks. Exactly. So that is a vending machine. Mm -hmm. Expensive or soda? Yeah, you can get soda from it, water, chocolate, eh, some Cook bars, cookies. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cho cigarettes. I don't know if cigarettes. Ayer mencionaban que sí, but I don't know. Yes. I have never yeah, seen one. Nunca he visto una. Probably in Guatemala, in, right? Probably. In, the, in Haro, you have. There are many machines with cigarettes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, depending on the culture, so that can happen. Uh, then we have front desk. Alguien que recuerde front desk. Can you help me with this? What is front desk? Uh, uh, lobby. Ricardo, next to uh, the lobby. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, front desk, creo que es eh, está la, la comida, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? No. Mm. No. No. You are Can you explain a little bit more? <laughs> okay. No, no, Porque puede, no, puede no, ser. No, puede ser, pero I, sí, I need sí. to get the idea. Uh -huh. Front desk. Actually, when you do the check-in and when you do the check-out, you have to ah, go to the front yeah, yeah, desk. Ah, ya, 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 Exactly, yeah, so that is the front desk. Next. Or, yeah, or when you go to an office, when you go to a company, first, you go to the front desk, right? Yes. So you have the lobby, and then you have the front desk. Mm -hmm. So that is front desk. What about booking? ¿Se recuerda what's book? Yesterday, they decíamos que no solo es libro, okay? But it means something it's else. La reserva. La reservation. La reservation, yes. exactly. So you need to book something. ¿Me ayudan con un ejemplo? Can you help me with an example, please? Carlos, ¿tiene algo para mí? Do you have anything for me? Well, Carlos, René, Guadalupe, no sé si tienen algún ejemplo con book. Ese book es como de reservar, ¿verdad? Ese teacher? book es de reservar. Este es el I need to book in a room in her I, autumn. Mm -hmm, exactly. I need to book uh, a room. In, Very good. Uh, in the Cameroon, mm -hmm. in the Cameroon, uh, they are, well, ¿cómo se puede decir? Hay unos restaurantes mm -hmm. de a la carta. Que están a la carta. Sí, es, la, la que sé que eso, pero no puedo decirlo en inglés. Que cuando uno va ahí hay que hay que hacer una reservación. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, you need to book a table. So you need to you need to book a table. Ajá. Mm -hmm. you, need, ajá cabal. you need to book a table. Okay. Or okay. también el boleto, you know, cuando uh -huh. So you need to book a flight. Uh -huh. Or you need to book a, a hotel. Exactly. So this booking is de hacer la reservación, right? Uh, of course, yes. significa libro, pero todo depende de en qué ambiente está. The next one we have is deposit, but I feel that you already know what deposit is, okay? So it's solamente es un depósito, right? And the last one is adjoining bathrooms. Ayer veíamos que es una adjoining bathroom. Do you remember? Can you help me? Un solo baño. Un baño? Un baño. Como eh, una habitación, o sea, baño con, como baño privado, como una habitación con su propio baño. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So an adjoining bathroom is that, you know, una habitación con baño privado. So está ahí exactamente a la par. It's not a family bathroom, ni tampoco se comparte con el resto, ¿ya? Yeah? Exactly. So that's an adjoining bathroom. 
And I think it's the best whenever we try to book a hotel already. So let's continue with this. If you want to take notes or you're free to do that, uh, we are going to use it, okay? And also it's important to know si alguna vez están buscando un vuelo, por ejemplo, even booking, todo es eso, right? The, la reserva de su vuelo. And it's important to know about it. So let's move on. I have like a little Chef. conversation. Hi. Y ahí, este, así como ahí que dice solo book, pero se pronuncia booking. No, es book. El, el book es el verbo, pero también lo podemos ver como booking, que es lo más común. You know, like the booking. Si usted, por ejemplo, entra a una página de Avianca, especially in English, va a ver que dice booking. You know, esa es la reservación. Mm -hmm. Con ING. Yes, with ING. Ah, y también puede hacer que lo encuentre solo book. Yes, of course. Y quiere decir lo mismo, reservación. Sí, solamente que book es el verbo, right? Es reservar. Booking es ah. reservación. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I have just this little conversation here, and it says, listen to your teacher with the conversation, and then practice with a partner. But the thing is, I don't really want to read it because I want you to practice. So, um, solamente veamos un par de palabras, okay, that can be a little complicated. For example, we have the word uh, Friday the 14th, que es un número ordinal, so we pronounce it like 14th. Luego tenemos la palabra as, with as, con nosotros, right? And then we have until, so until Monday, until Tuesday. So me voy a quedar hasta este día. So we have the word until. Um, and the rest is very simple, I would say. We have single or double. So Ana, no, Jancy nos comentaba antes que habían um, hoteles uh, o hostales, right? con una o dos habitaciones, so that's single or double room. So we can call it that way. Um, so I would like to have two volunteers. Uh, so just to help me Hi, read teacher. it. Thank you, Ricardo. So you Estoy can help me read it with Gerardo. Oh, perfect, that's okay. No se preocupe, you're gonna practice now. And, Hi, Gerardo. And thank you, Danny. So you can help okay. me with Jen. Uh, so then you can start. A voluntary. Man Guadalupe. Hi. Hi. Uh, oh, sorry. Pensé que me iba a ayudar a leer la parte de Jen. But yes, you can yes, help yes, me. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. So you can yeah. help me with Jen. Ricardo? Yes, yes. Good. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. It is Jane. How can I hear you? Hello, I need you uh, make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When you are going to arrive? I am going to arrive of Friday at uh, 1.14. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I am yes. going to, to start uh, until Monday. Are you going to make are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Hey, All right. Thank you. No, that sounds very nice. So, suena super bien. Now, let's just repeat some words. Uh, repeat after me, please. Friday 14. Friday 14. Friday 14. 14. 14. Okay. Are you going to, how long are you going to stay with us? With us. Are, with, are us. You, with us. Are you, with us. With us. With us. How are long you are you going, going to, to stay Skype with us? With us. Mr. Gomez. Mr. Gomez. Until Monday. Until Monday. Until Monday. Until Monday. Until Monday. Until Monday. Okay. Very good. 
antes, antes de irnos a esta parte, antes de comenzar, you know, practicing the topic for today, hagamos un breve recordatorio sobre los números ordinales, because today vamos a hablar de fechas. We are going to need a little refreshing about the dates. Si se recuerdan, in dates, no puedo utilizar one, two, three, four, five. Oh. I have to be very specific, you know, with the yes. number. For example, so I use this one, y le agrego st, so lo voy a pronunciar como first, right? So I have first. I have this one that is second. Right. Oops. No. Where are you? Okay, so I have this one, right? That is second. I have this one that is third. Okay. Yeah. Y el resto solamente le voy agregando TH. Okay. Pero yeah. le voy a poner una bre un breve cambio en la pronunciación. En vez de decir four, le agrego four. Le agrego un you know, it's como aire, right? La TH, recordemos que es como una Z. So, and then I have, for oh. example, eh, this one, que lo pronuncio como fifth, right? Four, fifth, eh, cinco, right? I have, for example, six. No va a cambiar porque eh, el sonido es un poco difícil, entonces no lo cambiamos. Then we have, for example, seven, okay? We have eight, all right? Me movió. Okay. We have eight, we have nines, we have tens, y le vamos agregando este sonidito de tss, all right? So yo no lo leo como ten, sino ten. Uh, so, please repeat with me. First, first, second, second, third, 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 Fourth. 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 Fifth. 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 Sixth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Eighth. Eighth. Ninth. 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 Tenth. 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 So, when we are talking about dates, es necesario que le agreguemos esto porque es la forma correcta de decir fechas, all right? Thanks. So, here, the person says, I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th, all right? Oh, so, el 14th, the 14th. Oh, le debo de agregar este TH. Mm -hmm. Igualito lo dije, 14th. No, you did a very good job. You did it nicely. Yes. Already. All right. All good, all good. So, <laughs> no, no se preocupe, no, you did it nicely. Okay, now, let's work a little bit with the following parts. Um, if you pay attention here, dice que va a llegar el 14, right? Y solo se va a quedar hasta Monday. So probably it's going to be, I don't know, depending en qué mes estamos in this case, so we can make the date. So el check-in, el día de ingreso de check-in is going to be Friday 14th y el check-out um, como se va a quedar hasta lunes, son solo viernes, sábado, domingo y lunes. Probably solo son cuatro días, right? Y podemos hacer la cuenta. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So el checkout, you know, here sería el 18. So the 18th. Now, I want you to take, antes de irnos al siguiente ejercicio, I want you to take a look at some of the questions that the person has. When are you going to arrive? So cuando va a llegar, right? How long are you going to stay with us? ¿Cuánto tiempo se va a quedar? Already. And are you going to take, are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? So, si la reservación es for a single or a double room. So, let's take a look at the following. It says here, fill the form with information from the conversation and compare the answers with a partner. Basado en esta conversación, les voy a dar dos minutitos para que llenemos esta ficha. Solo el número tres, please. Only number three. So, ¿cuál es el nombre del agent? ¿Cuál es el nombre del guest? ¿Cuál es eh, el check-in? ¿Cuál es el check-out? Ok, ¿qué día? Right. Y si es single or double room. Two minutes.
Already, so help me please. Agent, what is the agent's name? Jen. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the guest? What is the guest name? Geraldi. Geraldi. Okay, exactly. Um, so what about the check-in? When does it check-in? Friday. Or... Friday for fourth. Thirteenth. Friday fourth. Fourteenth. All right. Uh, what about the checkout? ¿Cuándo sería entonces el checkout? Monday, Monday 17th. Monday 17th. Okay. Monday 17th. Exactly. Monday 17th. All right. Single or double room? ¿Cuál de los dos? What, which one do you think? Single. Single. That's a single one, right? At the end, she says, oh, no, just a single one. Okay. Very good. Now, let's continue with part number four. Um, we have this word, okay, que es would like. En algún momento creo que la habíamos visto. So, it says here, use would like to make a polite request. Cuando necesitamos algo o queremos que nos ayuden con algo, we normally use would like. Me gustaría, right? So, me gustaría esto. Me gustaría safe. I would like to have... I don't know, a computer, for example, in my room, I would like to get an adjoining bathroom. Also, podemos utilizar need y podemos utilizar want. Also, it is less polite, pero igual funciona cuando queremos pedir algo. So whenever we are talking about reservations, we can use I would like, I need, or I want, okay? So based on this, let's do the following. Imagínense que nos vamos este fin de semana, you know, uh, to enjoy it with your family, etc. So, quiero que escriban solo tres cosas, three things, ya sea amenities o algo específico que necesitan que su habitación tenga, all right? I would like to have air conditioning, for example. So, me gustaría que tenga aire acondicionado. So, I would like to have air conditioning, all right? Or I will, I need, okay? I need a minibar, for example. Como una refri pequeñita. So I need a minibar, all right? So que les gustaría? Solo tres. Make a list of three things that you really would like. Ready, so help me guys. Solo son tres, right? It's only three. So what would you like? ¿Qué les gustaría que tuvieran? What, what would you like? For me, yeah. I would <coughs> like with, with, with the internet. Okay, so Wi-Fi? Okay. Uh, I would like air conditioning. Okay, air conditioning. That's okay. Uh, I would like TV. Okay, ah, uh, TV, okay, okay, good, good, good. Anybody else? I need uh, Skype. 
Ok, ok. Tú no es que hay Ok. Eh, and Wi-Fi. Ok. Satellite TV. Se los comparto there. So, tenemos Cable TV o Satellite TV. Okay. También tenemos AC, que es otra forma de decir aire acondicionado, right? You can say AC o air conditioning. Ok. Conditioning. Uh, the more important is a joining bathroom. An adjoining bathroom, exactly. So, para que no lo comparta with anybody else. All right, thank you. They sound good. Anybody else? Alguien más quiere compartir su lista? Solo son tres. It's only three important things for you. I need some yes, game. Some game. Some game. Game, some, game some. La, Oh, like a game yeah. room? Que tengo un yes. área de juegos? Like a game sí. room? Okay. Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué más? A pool. A pool? Okay. Pool. Or... No, no more. That's it. <laughs> Only a pool and a game room. Okay, Ignacio, yes. what about you? Um, <clears throat> solo una. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I like I like strict privacy okay. in my room. That's no it. More. That's it. Only privacy. Yes. Que no le están tocando, no knocking at your door, not interruption. Okay, so privacy. Already, that sounds good to me. So, guys, tiene preguntas? Do you have any question up to now? Estamos bien? Are we like good with it? No questions? Oh. Okay, I'm glad there are no questions. Okay, already. So now, metámonos en el tema ya gramatical that we are going to cover for today, que es la parte de be going to. Si se recuerdan, ayer veíamos que be going to es para hablar de metas, planes, objetivos that we may have. Uh, positive form, como lo tenemos acá, I'm going to arrive, I'm going to stay. Miss Puentes is going to travel. Negative sentence, solo le diré will not. Miss Puentes is not going to fly. Mr. Gómez is not going to arrive. Y eso es todo. But right now, vamos a hablar un poquito de las preguntas, ¿ok? So, let me share with you my whiteboard. Vamos a comenzar con preguntas cortitas, with short questions right here. So, esto se llama Be Going To para Futuro. Uh, and I want to know qué es lo que ustedes van a hacer el fin de semana, for example, ¿ok? But quiero ser bien específica con lo que quiero preguntar. So, I just need a yes or a no. Y eso es todo. I don't need details. No quiero información extra. Solo I want to be very specific. And I tell you, for example, ¿van a trabajar este fin de semana? ¿Ya? Yeah. So, con be going to, vamos a hacer lo siguiente para una pregunta. Vamos a tener el verbo be first. We are going to get be. Then the subject. Then going to. Y luego el verbo sin ningún cambio, right? Como lo hemos estado haciendo so far. So, uh, allow me one second. Let me make the change here. Y pretty much eso es todo. Entonces yo comienzo, por ejemplo, como les quiero preguntar directamente a ustedes. So I have you. Y la forma del verbo to be sería, are you? Hey guys, ¿van a trabajar? Are you going to work? So are you going to work? Y mi respuesta es bien yes. fácil. Yes, yes I, I am. am. Porque solamente fue con el I verbo to be. Going to work. Or I am not going to work. Exactly. Y eso es todo. Super easy. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> What about on Mother's Day? ¿Van a trabajar el lunes? Are you going to work on Monday? Yes. No. Monday. No. Yes. Yes, no, I work in every day. day. Yes, uh -huh. porque yeah. descansé primero. It's a off day. So, okay, Ricardo is going to work on Monday. Marvin is going to work on Monday. ¿Quién más va a trabajar el lunes? Who is going to work on Monday? 
Yes. I am going to work on Monday. <laughs> My day off is Saturday alone. Oh, only. your day. Okay, your day off is Saturday. Got it, got it. So, uh, if no. you I don't know vacation. You no, I believe you don't. De hecho, son los días más trabajosos for you. Like the, the busiest days. Los días de más, más comercio, right? Like more work, more chances to get money. Okay. So, now, let's ask about the following. Are you, como vamos a tener un, un fin de semana largo para algunos que no trabajan el fin de semana. Are you, Thank you. <laughs> are you going to... Are you going to travel somewhere? Are you going to travel somewhere? Van a ir a viajar a algún lado, van a salir a algún lado. Are you going to travel somewhere this yes. weekend? Yes. Where? At work. Para yes. Dónde? <laughs> no, travel. So travel is a de trabajo. Where? A dónde, Ricardo? El trabajo los planes, de, la, de la casa al los trabajo. <ríe> ok. Los, los planes. planes. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ok. So you're going to los Visit planes de planet. los enteros. Ok. Ok, cool. What about the rest? Are you going to travel somewhere? ¿Van a ir a algún San, lugar? San Blas Beach. San Blas Beach. Ok. Yeah. Ok. I am going to the Atami Beach. Atami. Ooh, that's a good, three, good place. Three days. Three, oh my Three God. Day. Llévenos. Friday. Friday. <laughs> I am not, I am Ah, wow. I am going to the Linda Vista Garden. Oh, boy, it's boy. You're going to Linda Vista Garden. Wow. With your mother? Mentira, teacher, es para, para participar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I thought it was true. And it's I was false. like, hey, send pictures. Okay. Are you going? Oh, I got I got a question now. Are you going to celebrate? Are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? Are you going to celebrate Mother's Day for any reason? Oh, si son madres, se los van a celebrar. Are people are are your kids going to celebrate Mother's Day? I'm not going. To celebrate uh, Mother Day because it's, I don't have money. Because you don't have money. <laughs> no, but no, maybe after, after 15. Okay, after the, after the pago, after the payday. Yeah. Okay. But for example, not necessarily it can be a celebration. Are you going to, I don't know, buy flowers for your mother? O para su esposa, for your wife. Oh, the other day, the other day. Other day, not, not this weekend, okay. So if you check it out, es bien fácil hacer preguntas too, because solamente vamos con, are you going to? Are you going to travel? Are you going to celebrate? Are you going to buy flowers, you know? So no cambia mucho, you know, y vamos a, y estamos siempre preguntando en futuro. Just keep in mind, que como mi pregunta fue, are you? Mi respuesta es con el verbo to be. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Y eso es todo. All right? So, ayúdenme con preguntas. Help me out with five questions de cosas que van a hacer este fin de semana or on the holiday. Como tenemos día libre, you know, pueden preguntarnos sé, si se van a quedar viendo Netflix en casa. Are you going to stay in your house and watch Netflix? Are you going to, um, I don't know, ¿qué hacen el fin de semana? What do you do? ¿Qué hacen cuando tienen días, días largos, like long weekends? ¿Estoy at home? ¿Do the laundry? Sleep. <laughs> oh, sleep. Ok. Are, are, are you going you, to... I, are you going to sleep? All day long? Todo el yeah. día, all day long? Okay. Are you going to... I don't know. Are you going to go to the church? Van a ir a la, a la iglesia. Are you going yes, to... Yes, miss. Yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Danny. Sure. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you, Danny. <laughs> I remember Danny. Ahí me esperaba ahí, Danny. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so are, are you going to go together? Nosotros sí vamos a la iglesia, nosotros los hombres. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. So, are you going to go together? Van a ir juntos? Are you going to go together? Yes. <laughs> okay. Take, take a hand. Nosotros, nosotros somos bien santitos. Take hand. What do you mean, Ignacio? Ah, holding. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh my God. Teacher, I will I will be three hours in my hammock. In your hammock? Wow, that's so relaxing. I think that the best. Well, I don't like hammocks much, <laughs> but I think the best uh, therapy is to go to the beach and to stay in a hammock, like you know, for a long period of time. So that's the best therapy ever. Are so, you going a mountain? Are you going to a mountain? Mountain? Well, actually, you? I'm going, actually, I'm going to work. <laughs> I'm going ah. to work on Monday. Yeah, I work on Saturday and I work on Monday. Boom. So, I'm not going to go out, I think. And as, as Rene said, there is no money. So maybe when there is uh, during payday. Ana? Ana Yancy, do you have a question for us? Yes? Uh, mi, lo que voy a hacer el sábado. Uh, we are going to celebrate Mother Day in family. Ah, okay, good. Um, solamente hagamos las preguntas. Let's make the questions. Eh, usted ya las tiene. Lo único que vamos a hacer es cambiar el orden un poquito. Por ejemplo, creo que usted dijo we are going to celebrate, celebrate Mother's Day. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es traemos este art. No sé si logra ver mi pantalla. Lo que único que voy a hacer sí. es moverlo de lugar. Lo quito. Y lo pongo al inicio. Y como la pregunta es, si usted, si ustedes, you know, ella no sería muy verdad, sino que ahora quiero preguntar, le puedo preguntar como, are you? Recordamos que you es usted o ustedes, un grupo de personas. Are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? Uh -huh. Y eso es todo. Solo cambiamos la posición. Yes. Thank you, teacher. No, no problem. Your sentences are very teacher. good. Solo cambiamos. Yes, Denise. Eh, no, Alexis. I'm sorry, Alexis. Por un sí, segundo so... les confundí las voces. Tell me. No, es que somos, es que somos igualitos. Oh, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Hermano, hermanos gemelos, pero distanciados. Ok, ok. Yes. Eh, una, una cuestión. Eh, personas, cuando se dice más de dos, uh -huh. se dice people, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Cuando es una persona, solo se dice person. ¿no? Yes. Ah, tenía esa duda porque hoy dije people a una persona y lo dije al revés. Yeah, person is one and people son más, ¿verdad? Más de ah, dos. Okay, ok, ok, thank you. Más de uno, de hecho. Ya. Yeah. Person and people. Ok, guys, eh, ya tenemos cinco preguntas. Do you have equations? Do you need more time? Talk to me. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question on this part? ¿O estamos super bien? Are we okay? Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Dígame, Marvin. Tell me. O sea, are, are, are you going to travel? Así, ¿verdad? Es como para, para preguntar, ¿verdad? No mm -hmm. se puede decir, where are you going to, to travel de... The way. No. Sí se puede, sí se puede. Lo que sucede es que mis preguntas acá, cuando yo les pregunto, are you, yo solamente quiero saber sí o no. Y eso es todo. No, no quiero más detalles. Sin Su pregunta, ajá, exactly. Su pregunta está súper bien. Where, a dónde va a ir, verdad? Where are you going? Where are you going? Travel. On the weekend. So, su pregunta está súper bien, uh -huh. solamente que hay una pequeña diferencia. Obviamente, con su pregunta, ya no me va a decir 
sí y no. Ya no, me, ya no le puedo yo responder con sí, no, sino que ahora sí me tiene que dar detalles, muchos detalles. O sea que sería como la respuesta, I go to the, the Cameron ah, Resort. Ah, exactly, porque me está preguntando a dónde. En cambio, esta de acá es como, are you going to travel somewhere? ¿Va a salir a algún lado? And you can say yes. No es necesario que me dé detalles, pero puede hacerlo. En cambio, where are you going to travel? Me pide detalles. Uh -huh. ah, so, digamos, para celebrar mi cumpleaños, puede decir, because celebrity my birthday. Yes. So, where are you going to travel on the weekend? Oh, I am going to the Cameron because I have to celebrate my birthday. Exactly. Ajá. También okay. acá arriba. Are you going to travel somewhere? So, yo le puedo decir, yes, I am going to travel... Um, it is my birthday. I mean, siempre me puede dar detalles. La diferencia es que con esto oh. no se los pido y con la where sí me pide información. Este where Digamos, de, están desayunando, le pregunta yes, no, uh, sí, yes o oh, no, I did. Uh -huh. Like, por ejemplo, uh, no sé, le gusta la película El Titanic. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh -huh. y no y tiene solo, que decir nada más. Exacto, solo es como, ah, oh, yes. Uh -huh. Pero si le pregunto, ah, ¿cuál es su película favorita? Entonces viene y me nombra toda la lista. Esa es la diferencia con las preguntas de sí y no y las preguntas de información. Estas son sí y no. Uh -huh. Ya vamos a llegar a las, de, a las de información. Pero sí, es una pregunta muy válida. Ignacio. Teacher. Teacher, yes. respect the, the question, are you going uh, to celebrate Mother's Day? Uh -huh. um, My mother is already in heaven. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. Okay. But, uh, I understand. But on Monday, but, but on Monday, um, Monday, send, uh, I like to visit the cemetery. Oh, okay. And uh, to buy a flower for, for her. For, for her. Oh, already. That, that's a good... It's my, it's, it's, it's my real situation. That is it's kind not... of like your routine for Mother's Day. I understand. Okay. But it's good. I mean, I think it's important also to be close. Yes. Okay. Got it. Science, science, science uh, to 2030. 2030. Science 2030. Well, the, 13. The oh, 2013. Oh, got it, 20, got it. Okay, yeah. from 20, since 2013. Got it, got it. All right. Um, yes, well, the thing is that with Mother's Day, sometimes uh, people celebrate not necessarily like for like your mother, sino también para las esposas, right? Some people celebrate like your they buy something for their wives for las madres en potencia you know and, and everything related to that so guys tenemos cinco preguntitas do you have five questions already ya las tenemos listas kind of okay so el silencio otorga so i would say yes <laughs> so creería que sí right i would say yeah So let's go ahead and practice. Okay, vamos a practicar un poquito estas preguntas. Again, are you? Me pide solo una respuesta bien cerrada, sí o no. Yeah, yes, I am. No, I am not. Pero no significa que no puedo dar detalles. Of course, you can give details. Okay. And si pueden dar una explicación, muchísimo mejor. That's even better para que practiquemos a lot. So tenemos cinco minutitos. Go, please. Practiquen, escuchen al compañero. Listen to the questions. Y lo más importante, ten, practicamos listening, comprendiendo qué es lo que me está preguntando, qué es lo que ellos quieren decir. All right. So, five minutes, everybody, go. Vámonos a las salas.
Hola chicos, hello, hello. Hi. So, vamos a practicar un poquito las preguntas que tienen. We are going to practice your questions. Si a yes. las listas, you can start asking. Si no las tienen, no hay ningún problema. Podemos iniciar, you know, o pueden ayudarse a crearlas. That's okay. Eso no, no nos... Eh, no nos limite, ¿verdad? Sino que lo tomemos como una oportunidad para ayudarnos a crear questions. So, si ¿sí las tienen, please, let's ask. Uh -huh. We have two sentences. Oh, questions, sorry. Uh -huh. oh. Creemos la, let's ask about it. Uh -huh. Here, are you going to class tomorrow? Are you, yes. Are you going to class tomorrow? Yes. Hey, cl classmate, are you going to give the homework until Friday? Repeat. Repeat. Please. Uh, hey, hey, classmate, are you going to give the homework until Friday? Eh, quizás estoy diciendo mal, pero... Quiero decirles, hey, compañeros, eh, vamos a entregar las tareas hasta el viernes. No, así está bien. Are we going to give the homework until Friday? That's okay. Es, no, esas, esas dos, esas dos. Esas dos preguntas. Okay. So, escuchamos la respuesta de ellos. Let's listen to their answers. Ok. Respuestas cortas, Paticha. Sí, pero pueden dar detalles. I mean, es una respuesta de sí, no, pero claro, ustedes pueden dar detalles. Like, por ejemplo, la última pregunta que Ignacio dijo fue, are we going to give the homework on Friday? So you can say, oh, no, we are going to give it on Monday. Monday, then. If you can finish the homework faster or finish okay. the homework earlier. Entonces no es necesario que eso Right? I not make the, the home. Okay. Danny, ¿cómo es posible? <laughs> okay. No, it's, 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 it's okay. For, example, for example. That's the I, example. <laughs> I, I know. Uh -huh. for, no, but yes, yes that for, works. For other person. <laughs> okay. El compañero dijo. Yes. So your classmate said that. Sí, pero exacto. Esto es como una forma. No, well, todavía no he hecho nada. Uh, yes. I haven't done the homework. For example. Uh -huh. So, chicos, listen to your questions. Practice. Elizabeth, practiquemos también. I want to listen to you. Um, Elizabeth. Ok. Uh, uh... Hola chicos, hello. Hello teacher. Hi. Why is everybody so quiet? <laughs> ¿Qué pasó here? Hello, what's going on guys? ¿Por qué todos están bien calladitos? What's yeah. happening? Me preocupa que estén tan callados. I get so worried. <laughs> Yo pensé que todos estaban concentrados, teacher. Uh, okay. <laughs> Porque nadie contestaba. Yeah, right. Suddenly I came. Y lo primero que pensé fue, uy, mi audio quizás se murió. <laughs> so I was like, what's going on? Okay, guys. So Hi. la idea es... También. Yeah, right. La idea es practicar estas preguntas. So, vamos a preguntarle al compañero, you know, si tienen dos preguntas, it's perfect. 
three, four, las que tengan están bien, no hay ningún problema. Y pues luego podemos ir armando más preguntas. So, we are going to kind of, van a entrevistarlos, right? You are going to interview them. So I can ask, okay. for example, Sandra, hey, Sandra, are you going to go to the supermarket this week? Or are you going to start studying, you know, by estudiar, no sé, un, una carrera or anything? So are you going to uh, visit your family during vacation? So, I mean, whatever question you have, Solamente respondemos con yes, I am, no, I'm not. Y podemos dar detalles. Si tienen como más detalles que dar, no se limiten. So you can go ahead. Okay. okay. Brenda. Hi, Carlos Alberto. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Pregunta para Brenda. And he... <laughs> Ask me. No, pregúnteme usted. Uh, are you going to cooking on Saturday? Question. Que si cociné el sábado. Are yes. you going to cook in este sábado? Ajá. Yes. I cooking on Saturday. Okay, I okay. cooking in the morning. Pancake. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Pancakes, hot cake. yeah. Actually, pancakes is English. Pancake okay, or hot cake? Solo, <laughs> pancakes, pancakes. Or ambos, de hecho. Both are... are, are yeah. Solo una cosita. Eh, la pregunta creo que era, are you going to cook, right? So, es como si va a cocinar. You know, es, es de este uh -huh. sábado que viene. Are you going to cook? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Es que Eric me dijo to cooking. Yeah, cuando escuché, are you going to, es del futuro. You know, todo del futuro. Are you going to? Are you going to work? Are you going to study? Are you going to visit? So, todo es como futuro. Uh -huh. So, are you going to work on Saturday? No, I'm ah, not. Okay, <laughs> so, I, I, I don't like cooking on Saturday. No. <laughs> what about you guys? Van a cocinar? No. Are you going to cook? Yes, I am. Do you okay, cook? Teacher. Yes, Maruchan. Oh, come on, Maruchan for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are you going to cook, Moses? I don't know. No sé todavía, pero voy a cocinar. Do you cook? Yes. Cook pollo campero. Me, me every uh -huh. weekend. Is you... uh, is one uh, pasatiempo? ¿Cómo se dice pasatiempo? Uh, hobby. hobby? Mm -hmm. Is my hobby. Cooking. Amazing. That sounds good. I I cook because I need to survive. <laughs> So, okay, so I'm happy that it's your hobby. Carlos, what about you? Do you normally cook or just you make maruchan? No, I not cook. You don't cook? No, my wife cook. Ah, okay. So you don't help her? What? Do, you don't help her? You don't help your wife? Some days mm -hmm. when he has occupied with his work. Oh, okay. So when she's busy, okay. Yes. What about this Saturday? Are you going to cook or on Monday? Are you going to cook for her? In weekend, nothing cook. Oh, you don't cook. Okay. What about Monday? Yes. Because Monday is a holiday. Are you going to cook? Yes. Pollo campero too. <laughs> yes, it's a hat. <laughs> Okay, so you're not going to cook. Okay, got it, got it. So you can continue. Los dejo unos minutitos para que puedan practicar el libro. Ah. Los estoy escuchando. Ah, bueno. Vamos a hacer una fácil. Ajá. Uh Are -huh. you going to work in tomorrow? Yes, yes, I am. Ah, bueno. Ah, bueno. Yes. Yes, I am going to work. Yo creo que ya todos participamos, ¿verdad? Sí. 
No, uh, Angel. Ah, falta usted, vaya, la vamos a hacer esa facilita. What is your, your question, Angel? Ah, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, José, ¿verdad? Yes. Are you going to work in eh, yesterday? No, ahí está preguntando. El pasado, creo que ah, sí. no, 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 no puede ir el pasado si tiene razón, porque lo confundí. Bye. Ah, pues no, te la voy a hacer así como está. Muy nervioso. Repite el question, no escuché. Are you going to working? Working, yes. Yes, I am. Ok. Are you going to travel somewhere? Eso no lo puedo pronunciar. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Somewhere. 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 I don't know. I don't know, Pedrino. I am not bad. Somewhere. I'm going to celebrate Mother. Yes. Mother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Vaya, hoy sí todos, ¿verdad? Ya participamos todos. Y, y Ángel sí participó, ¿verdad? Eh, no, no las he hecho. No I las he hecho. Ah, no, pero así facilita. Que se les haga a Guadalupe. Vaya, Pedrina. Guadalupe, Ángel. Are you going to give the Robert Jumol? Okay. <risa> a mí me hice la pregunta. <risa> yes. Repeat, porfa. Are you going to give Flower, your mother? Yes. Norberto, are you going to celebrate your birthday? Yo creo que mm. después de are you going, es tú. Porque lo estamos diciendo, are you going to celebrate? Are you going to celebrate? Ah, yes. Es tú. Es tú. Uh, que ya vio, ya vio que estamos bien, porque si, si no lo decimos bien, está el otro ahí viéndonos. Yo soy Jan Angel. Ok. Este Guadalupe, are you going to run in for tomorrow? Thanks everybody. So, so thanks for coming back. I'm like super glad eh, that in some groups, you know, los escuché super fluidos. Eh, I heard everybody participating. Everybody was super active. So that was cool. So hi Rene, say hello to your coworker. <laughs> okay. So um, we were like checking this part of questions. Okay. So tenemos W. Tenemos yes no question, solamente es un sí o un no. And uh, now, vamos un poquito con la parte de preguntas de detalles, you know. Um, Marvin mencionaba an, algo antes, ok, y era, está bien preguntar where? Is it okay to ask more questions? Of course, it is totally fine. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas puedo hacer? Well, whatever question donde ustedes necesiten detalles. Tenemos las seven WH words, 
Por ejemplo, tenemos how long, por cuánto tiempo. How long are you going to stay? ¿Cuánto tiempo vas a trabajar? ¿Cuánto tiempo vas a estudiar? Right? Eh, when are you going to arrive? ¿Cuándo va a llegar o cuándo vas a llegar en nuestro salvadoreño? So, if you take a look, si por un segundito, si le quitamos... Si le quitamos, déjenme ver. Ok. Si le eliminamos esto, si le eliminamos esta parte, tenemos una pregunta de sí y no. Are you going to stay? Are you going to arrive? Es una pregunta de sí y no. Pero, ¿qué es lo que pasa entonces? Que solamente le estamos agregando WH. How long? When. Entonces, revisamos un poquito esta parte para que podamos hacer preguntas de WH. Y and you will see que no es nada complicado. It's not like complicated or anything. So, inicialmente teníamos are you, right? Are you going to? Ayúdenme con alguna pregunta. ¿Qué preguntas escribieron? ¿Qué preguntas le hicieron a los compañeros? Are you going, are you going to work on Monday? Uh -huh. Es como para preguntar si va a trabajar el día libre. Ok, yeah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Pero ahora yo le quiero preguntar por qué, ok. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? Solamente le agrego el por qué al inicio y eso es todo. Why are you going to work on Monday? Ahora ya no es solo sí o no, sino por qué. Ok, so ya le agregué más. Ayúdenme con otra. Any other question? Y, y, esa, y esa, teacher, y esa parte why es por qué, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Igual que because. Lo que sucede es que why es la pregunta. Cuando usted ah, responda, usted okay, me va a responder okay. con because. Uh -huh. Teacher, ah, ya entendí. O sea, que en esa cosita podrían ser tres personas, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, A dice, are you going to work on Monday? Uh -huh. B dice, yes. Y se podría decir, why? Yeah, yeah. exactly, got it. En una conversación, yeah. sí. That can be the, 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 como la lógica, ¿verdad? So, imagine that I come with Anthony. And I ask him, hey, Anthony, are you going to work on Monday? Yes, dice Anthony. Y, y Anthony dice sí. <laughs> okay. Anthony is not there. So, and then exactly, I come and I ask him, hey, Anthony, why are you going to work on Monday? Monday is a holiday. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. He's like, okay. Because... Okay, I tengo know. que entregar reportes. Because I have to deliver some reports. Uh, because my work is to emergence. Because, uh, because my work to emergence, emergence. Because I attend emergencies. Because I attend um, emergencies. I more because, Moises? I need more money. <laughs> because I need more money. Okay. Porque pagan doble. <laughs> because... Um, I have a family because I need, no sé, dí, dígame por qué trabajaría el lunes. Why would you work on Monday? Porque descansé primero. Ok, Ajá. because I rested. No, because, because I had the day off. I had the day off. For, for, for Jeffo. Oh, Jeffo. because I, yeah. Porque no lo quieren en la casa. Because, no. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher, lo mandan a trabajar. No, no don't be so mean. Uh, 24-7. Okay. Por pasatiempo. Because it is my hobby. Uh, hobby yes, eh? yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay. Se en la casa, por eso va a trabajar. Oh, because I get bored. Because I get bored. ¿Quién se aburre en la casa? Because I get bored at home. ¿Quién se aburre y va a trabajar? Because it's not, because it's not holiday. Because I am in a slave. Your, in your country. Mm, exactly, Brenda. Because it is not a holiday in the country. Or in my case, for example, trabajo con americanos, right? I work with American. So in your case, it is not a holiday. Mm -hmm. Teacher, for example, in, no sé si se dice así, in Costa Rica, mm -hmm. eh, the, the Mother Day is, no sé cómo se dice, el 18. 18. 18. 18. Ah, okay. Cuidado con ese número. Es el 10. 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 Es el 10.
and yes. do, you, do you work with a Costa Rican okay. company? Yes. Oh, okay. So because I work with a company in Costa Rica and they celebrate Mother's Day in August. Exactly. So in El Salvador, right. they don't say Salvadorian holidays. Got it. Right. So, Costa Rica is crazy. Teacher. Yeah. Yes, Pedrina. Teacher. Yes, yes, Pedrina. I got you. Tell I'm working in call center, call center y delivery. Okay, exactly. <laughs> and they are, and they are 24 seven, so 24 seven. So it's like, yeah, either way. Yes, exactly. So si se fijan, la parte de why, so me pide detalles y yo respondo con because. So why me da un because, okay? Now, cambiamos y sigamos. Miss, con, yes. Miss, uh, other, other house or is because I am my house boss? Mm, yeah, because it's my mm -hmm. company. Because it's my company. Because ah, okay. I am. Um, hay una palabrita para <laughs> eso. Eh, se la voy a compartir. <laughs> yes, okay. Ignacio. Um, because I am slave to work. <laughs> because I'm a slave. I am self-employed. Slave to work. You are a slave. Okay. So, um, uh, self-employed? Esta palabrita self-employed significa que usted tiene su propia empresa. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm self-employed. Thank you. So, thank solo you. para FYI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kidoki. So then let's continue. Let's move on. All right. So, ayúdenme con otra pregunta. ¿Qué más tienen? What other questions do you create? Uh, are you going to eat to break to chicken? Are you going to eat? Mm, okay, tomorrow. Yes. So, tengo esta pregunta. Okay, are you going to eat tomorrow? Obviamente mi respuesta sería yes. Ellos le agregaron um, como chicken, pero yo quiero saber qué van a almorzar, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que van a desayunar? ¿Qué es lo que van a comer? Y el qué, en inglés, sería un what. Y ahora ya no es sí o no, sino que ya quiero los detalles. I need to know the details. I need to know information. So what are you going to eat tomorrow? What are you going I to eat? I am eat uh, chicken. Ok, so you're going to eat chicken. So chicken breast. Oh, I'm going to eat uh, the fish, not chicken. Fish, okay. I am on a diet, so I'm going to eat vegetables. <laughs> okay, so what? Me pide detalles, right? Um, o también yo le puedo preguntar a dónde. Y en vez de what, ¿qué puedo utilizar para dónde? ¿Cuál es la pregunta para a dónde? Where? Okay. Where? Where? Yeah, Where? perfect. Where are you going to eat tomorrow? ¿A dónde van a comer? Or where are you going to eat breakfast, por ejemplo? ¿A dónde va a desayunar? Where are you going to eat breakfast? At home? Puede ser así, teacher. Yes. Dígame, Marvin. Eh, una respuesta. I'm going to eat in the beach. Oh, uh, tomorrow, yes. But because I need the reservation for the restaurant. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds very good. Okay. And you, what about the rest? Y los demás? Where are you going to eat breakfast tomorrow? ¿A dónde van a desayunar? I'm going to Mr. Donald. Mr. Oh. Donald? Okay. I'm going to eat breakfast at home. <laughs> so I'm going, to have, uh, I'm going to have a coffee, maybe some fruit. I'm going to breakfast in my in cafeteria in, at my board. Ah, okay, in the cafeteria. Okay, okay. Pupuseria uh, Lolita. In a pupuseria. Okay, so you're going to have pupusas. Teacher, I see. I'm going to my, eat my breakfast in Cocina de Maria. Maria oh. is my mom. <laughs> Pensé que Cocina de Maria del restaurant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in your mother's house. In la casa de su mamá. Yes. <laughs> At your mother's house. Nice. But that's really good. Porque le cocina and everything. What about lunch? Where are you going to eat lunch? ¿A dónde van a almorzar? Where are you going to eat lunch? In the cafeteria too? In a diner? O llevan su almuerzo? Do you take your lunch? 
at your office? Cafeteria. In a cafeteria? Okay. I'm going to eat lunch in my house too. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah. It's free, teacher. No, it's not. <laughs> because I, I am going to cook for myself. So, you know, that's not sweet. So, oh, eh, really? if you take a look, está super fácil porque las mismas eh, yes no questions, solo le agrego un par de cositas más y ya la transformo ahora en información. So, remember this, tenemos why, tenemos where, de lugar, tenemos when, tenemos how long, por cuánto tiempo, how okay. long, all right? Tenemos who, de quién, quién va a hacer algo, who. Tenemos eh, what. What? Tenemos how, cómo, ok. ¿Cómo se va a ir a la playa? How are you going to get home? How are you going to uh, get to the beach? Ok. Right. So tenemos how. Tenemos which, que casi no vamos a utilizarlo, but es importante que lo tengamos en cuenta, too. And the... Uh, this one lo voy a poner al final. I'm going to move this to the end. Yeah, you saw. So those are the WH questions that we are going to be using. So for example, when, you know, or what time, que también sería la siguiente, a qué horas. I want to ask, for example, a qué horas va a salir mañana. What time are you going to leave your job. ¿A qué horas va a salir del trabajo? ¿A qué horas se va a ir del trabajo? ¿O a qué horas va a llegar? What time are you going to arrive to your job? Oops, your job. So if you take a look, solamente vamos utilizando lo mismo. Are you going to work? Are you going to eat? Are you going to live? So a qué horas? And, the, and we do exactly the same with the rest. Why is woo this? Excuse me, Dennis? Who? Who? With who, who for example. Mm -hmm. Con who puede que cambie un poquito. Okay. So I'm going to put it. Se las voy a poner acá al final. Because normally, con who, de una sola vez le pongo is. Who is. Ya no lleva sujeto. Okay. Es como quién, ¿verdad? ¿Quién va a ir a la fiesta? Okay. Who is going to attend the party? So, ¿quién va a venir mañana? Who is going to come tomorrow? Who is going to uh, come to classes? ¿Quién va a, um, I don't know, ir de compras? Who is going to go shopping, for example? Entonces, es mucho más fácil porque solamente es who is going to y luego el verbo, la acción que queramos poner. Uh -huh. So guys, ayúdenme con un par de preguntitas. Help me out with some questions already. And uh, but las questions las vamos a hacer juntos. Do me a favor here. Eh, vamos a practicar. Vamos a practicar pregunta y respuesta. So, eh, los voy a invitar a que nos unamos a un grupo acá. Un grupo súper cortito. Oh, who's? Um, todavía eso no lo vamos a utilizar, Danis, porque es posesivo. Es como de quién. Oh, Entonces, okay. nos podemos confundir. Uh -huh, pero sí, también okay. existe. Thank you. So, vamos a practicar pregunta-respuesta, right? Como en una conversación cortita. Imagine, for example, I'm talking to Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe, how are you? Guadalupe, are you going to work on Monday? Hello, Miss. I am work. I am. I am not work. Oh, you're not going to work on Monday. Okay. So, ¿qué va a hacer? What are you going to do on Monday? Entonces ahí seguimos, you know. Oh, va a hacer esto. ¿Cuándo va a hacerlo? You know, etc. So podemos darle seguimiento. Allow me just a second. Give me just a little bit here. Eh, creemos las preguntas en grupos, please. Try to make the questions in groups para que podamos practicar también. Tenemos 10 minutitos. We have only 10 minutes to go. Make them y luego regresamos. Then we come back and we present them. <laughs>
eh, solo que vamos a, a incluir ¿verdad? El concepto, las, las preposiciones how, what, which, when, where, yes. who, Um, um, he escuchado una, una, una pregunta. Who's that girl? ¿Quién es esa chica? Who, who's that girl? Um, tal vez puedes responder como para una, una pequeña conversación, tal vez de una, dos, tres intervenciones, por ejemplo. Who does girl? Y de seguro vos respondes, no la conozco. <coughs> o oh, sí, la conozco. <coughs> si la conozco, se llama fulana o oh, y trabaja en, por ejemplo. Okay. Hi guys, well, that, that sounds good. Solamente intentemos utilizar también como la parte de futuros, right now. So puede ser una pregunta super sencilla and then los demás como opinan what they are doing. You know, normalmente cuando nos encontramos con amigos, it's like, hey, what's up? You know, how you doing? Hey, what are you going to do tomorrow? Let's have a cup of coffee, you know? So, and then you're going to let. And then you can say something like, no, no puedo, voy a trabajar, I'm going to work. Or Norberto says, no, voy a dormir todo el día, I'm going to sleep all day long. <laughs> so, I mean, it can be something super simple, but le pueden sacar provecho al máximo, you know, para que practiquemos futuros también. Mm -hmm. So, los dejo. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Green. Green um cheese. Are you not not? Ready? I I I have a microphone. Yes. Um, can you uh, ask me? Ask me. Repeat the question, Moisa. Uh, can you repeat my, uh, the question? Oh, uh, why a dinner tomorrow? Ah, what are you going to eat a uh, dinner tomorrow? Yes. Um, uh, I think uh, uh, actually I don't take dinner, but uh, I think uh, some coffee only. Only coffee. Yes. Child. Uh, <laughs> Podría así como podría decir I go to eat my dinner in my home uh, eat my eat uh, beans beans yes queso with, 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 cheese. with cheese with cheese with cheese normally in dinner uh, my mom serves um, beans um, eggs it's the same. You can say tortilla. Tortilla. <laughs> okay. Um, and bread. Hmm. Why tortilla? You eating? <laughs> Fry it. <laughs> Fry it. <laughs> Do you drink coffee? Fry tortilla. <laughs> Okay, in that, you Moses. That sounds sorry, that sounds delicious. I, even if you include plantain, como plátano yes. frito, right? If you sí. include plantain, wow, that's so delicious. Yes. I eat <laughs> eh, so, so, so. Or rice and beans. 
with coffee, with bread. Okay. Um, my beer, beer, yes. some. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, a taxi. Do you like spicy in your food? Spicy? I like. You don't spicy, picante? Oh, so, yeah, mush. So, so mush. Spicy a lot. I like, yeah. Oh, uh, my water is one liter. Right. Yes. Es que si no estoy cada rato comprando, entonces mejor compro el bote grande. Or space of not, not, not natural. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. A la peña. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. or, or, no sé cómo se diría, fue el gallo o... O baneo. Sí. Ok. Ode. Um. The other question. The other question. Um, which, which you, which your favorite I know it's going to. Okay. Voices es bueno para hacer preguntas. Yes. They. Uh, your friend uh, to drink a uh, water bottle. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Pedrina. Este, no he practicado porque me sacó, me sacó el cosa este. Sí, mi, es eso noté, por eso me vine. Igual a mi teacher. Igual a mi Estaba por entablar una conversación con Ángel y, y de repente ¡pum! me sacó. Ajá, okay. déjenme sí. ver si Ángel se quedó solo. Eh, sí, me, me di cuenta, I just saw you eh, y me imaginé que algo así les había pasado, así que por eso mejor. Sí. Ay, Estamos calladitos, por eso. I came here. Y empezar, iba una conversación mientras, con él. Mientras los demás eh, terminan, so we can practice, podemos aprovechar y practicar un poquito. No sé si ya tienen sí. las preguntas, si pudieron crear una o dos preguntitas. Eh, así no, sí, en eso estábamos con Ángel. Y empezar, íbamos cuando me, cuando me sacó. Okay. Hi, Angel. Yo creo que lo dejé hablando al pobrecito. Sí, ah, pero ya lo traje. No, pero ya lo traje para que no se quedara solo. Hi, Ángel. Sorry, lo traje de regreso porque se me había quedado solito por ahí. Ah, so, ok. También. Giovanni, Giovanni no contestaba. Una muchachita me dejó solo. No, no it's the no, internet. No, 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 no. <laughs> ok, but, but si tenemos preguntas. Si tenemos alguna pregunta ya hecha, you know, eh, me imagino que ustedes habían tomado nota de alguna. So, así practicamos acá mientras los demás vienen. Miss, para, para, para serles sincera, eh, Ángel me estaba explicando de cómo era todo eso. Como, ¿Se acuerda que lo he hecho? Uh -huh. Apenas me estaba sí. conectando y no entendía mucho de lo que estaba y me estaba explicando apenas empezar. Y vamos a ver cómo, se, cómo creamos alguna conversación. Sure. Bueno, puede ser una pregunta eh, no. sencilla, you know, y los demás nos vamos por ahí. Por ejemplo, um, imagine, guys, que nos encontramos, you know, and I see you like, hello, how are you? Um, yeah, how are you? Uh -huh. ¿Qué va a ser? ¿Qué va a ser más tarde? What? Comenzamos con what are you going to do in the afternoon, for example? 
Okay, van a hacer en la tarde, you know. What are you going to do in the afternoon? Can we have, can we have a cup of coffee? Okay. Podemos tomarnos uh -huh. un café, I'll you know. I'll drink coffee. I'll uh -huh. drink coffee. Can we have a cup of coffee? Uh -huh. Pero como no sé si les ha pasado. A, resta a restaurant de María. <laughs> can we go to a restaurant? Uh -huh. But no sé si les ha pasado que cuando se quieren poner de acuerdo con sus amigos no se puede. <laughs> So, sí. imagine, uh -huh. yeah. so, Pedrina, dígame que va a hacer algo y que no puede. Tell me you are going to do something. Este, I don't know. Dígame como, I'm sorry, voy a hacer esto. Uh -huh. uh, ok, I'm sorry de vacación, pero eh, I do not. Dígame que va a hacer algo. I mean, hemos estado practicando I am going to. Entonces, ah, con, uh -huh, con I'm going to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, quizás sería I'm sorry and I have I have in classes in classes English. Exactly. In class I'm English. sorry. I'm going to have English classes. Uh -huh, very good. So I'm going to have. Voy a tener. Uh -huh. Ángel, deme una excusa. <laughs> Give me an excuse. Abigail, deme una excusa too. Dígame que va a hacer algo. Tell me you're going to do something. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Pero sería muy, muy, muy duro que me diga, oh, voy a dormir. No. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sleeping. Uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, work tonight for finish the month of contability. Ah, very good. I'm mm -hmm. going to work. Exactly, exactly. Pedrina, what is your excuse? I am going I am going to class no internet. No recibí la clase porque no tenía internet. Uh, no, but this one. What are you going to do in the afternoon? Can we have a cup of coffee? So, como cuando uh, estamos invitando a una a tomar algo, you know, una taza de café. Deme una excusa por la cual no puede ir. <laughs> so, uh, Angel said, I'm sorry, I'm, sorry, sería, sería. I'm going to finish my report. Uh, Ingrid said, I'm sorry, I have an English class. So I'm going to have an I'm English going, class. Mm -hmm. Sería también, I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, watch movie, uh, a watch, a watch movie in cinema con in, más, creo, my friends. Mm -hmm. Exactly. O sea, no puedo so, porque tengo con tengo uh -huh. que ir a ver una película. Con... Exactly. I'm sorry, but I'm going to watch a movie. So this is pretty much the idea when we are giving excuses, you know, and that, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds oh, my, good. I, I watch I watch movie I am my boyfriend. With my best friend. Okay. Yeah, that my sounds good. Friend. Hi guys. Oh, with your boyfriend. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Estábamos practicando con los chicos, like giving excuses. No sé si les pasa, pero cuando intentamos hacer planes, nunca se puede con nuestros amigos, right? So it's like, oh, yo voy a hacer esto, yo voy a hacer esto. En the end, nunca podemos hacer planes. So, take a look at this. Um, hey guys, let's, what are you going to do in the afternoon? Can we have a cup of coffee? Let's go for a cup yeah. of coffee. Denme una excusa de por qué no pueden, you know, in the afternoon. What are you going to do? Because I meet, uh, I have a meeting with my family. Okay. It's very okay. important for Mother Day. Ah, uh, okay. Your excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so give me an excuse. Then I want an excuse. What would you say? Because, uh -huh. because I have class in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay. Because I have classes. Okay. ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Give me more, more excuses. Yo sé que son buenísimos. Give me excuses. Tell me. <laughs> I don't have money. Because I stay at, at work. Oh, because I have to stay at work. Okay, okay. Anything I, else? I, 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 I prefer beer. 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 Ricardo, what was that? ¿Cuál era ah, la excusa? I no excuses. Oh, you don't have excuses. Okay. No. Okay. I love you coffee. I love coffee, señor. <laughs> I love coffee. I love coffee. 
<laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Now, guys, let me listen. Let me listen to um, some of you. Okay, giving, uh, talking a little bit. Solamente vamos a practicar. Puede ser una pregunta, multiple answers en futuro. ¿Alguien quiere participar? Solo vamos a escuchar one eh, group, you know, because of the time. Anybody? Okay, so let's go with, let's go with some. Um, okay, Ingrid, dame un número, el 1 al 25. Give me a number. El 1 al 25. De la buena suerte, el 3. Okay, 1, 2, and 3. De la mala suerte. Another. You are number, number three. three. Okay, give me another number. Okay. Um, ¿Hasta qué número me dijo del 1 25? Yeah, 25. 25. Uh, 3. Okay, 3, 6, 9. 13. 13. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's go with Carlos. Think that Carlos is there. So, Carlos, are you there? ¿Pudieron practicar la pregunta? Were you able to practice the questions? Sí, no mucho, teacher. Okay. Eh, Ignacio y Norberto practicaron bastante. Ok, ok. So, Ignacio y Norberto, si tienen, el, eh, you know, una pregunta lista, lead a conversation. So, we are good. Los, los podemos escuchar. We can listen to you. Teacher, eh, eh, there is improvisation. Sí, no hay problema. I mean, that's perfect. Uh, hello, Ignacio. Hello, Norberto. How are you? Um, I am fine. Uh, are you worried? Are you worried? Uh, working tomorrow? Bye. Are you going? Are you going to working tomorrow, Ignacio? Uh, no, no, no. I don't. I don't work tomorrow. Tomorrow is my 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 day rest. And you? Uh, yes, I am. Work. For 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 what? Um. How too much work, or 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 do you have any problem in your job? Mm. Uh, repeat the uh, question. Uh, I think I think he's asking, como por qué. I think he's asking why. Why? Uh. Uh, Inventes algo, make, make, uh, up, no, make it up. Norberto, why do you work uh, tomorrow? If if tomorrow is a is a is your your rest day. Your birth, birthday. No. Your rest. day off. Day off. Sorry. Day off. Your day off. Imagínate que descansa los viernes. <laughs> um, for, uh, because, uh, because, uh, for my, or, ¿cómo dice horario? Dice? Schedule. Okay, for my schedule. It's the work. Okay. Okay, already. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Th that sounds super good. All right. So, si escuché las preguntas en futuro, like I heard the questions, I heard the vocabulary. So, very good job with that. And also, improvisamos un poquito. At the end, de eso se trata. To improvise a little, eh, not to write too much. Okay, but escuchar y responder. So, very good. Nice, yeah. O sea, puede decir, eh, for my schedule, I work. Be because of my schedule. Mm -hmm. So why are you going to work? Oh, because of my okay. schedule, for me already, exactly. Uh, already, guys, eh, let me go over attendance. Voy a revisar asistencia una vez más. Solo me confirman, please. Algunos no estaban en el primer control. 
Eh, Ingrid ya está por acá. So thank you very much. Eh, Claribel. Teacher, tuvo problemas con el Inter, me mencionó. Sí, creo que también me, me escribió about it. Ana Yancy también ya está con nosotros. So Ana Yancy, you're here. Y eso es todo. That's pretty much it. So agradecerles a, todo, a todos por, la, por estar acá bien temprano e intentar conectarse siempre los 120 minutitos que nos pide Insafor. And uh, les pido, me ayuden con la plataforma, please. Tenemos hasta el día... Eh, lunes de ser posible que la terminamos y la pueden terminar el fin de semana muchísimo mejor así el martes solo venimos hablamos practicamos es, es que el 17 y el 18 están so, bien difíciles teacher. Oh, ayer veíamos como uno un par de tips con el 17 eh, en caso no los pudieron eh, tomar yeah. nota you know, en la 17 lo único que van a hacer es tomar la estructura del be going to es decir el verbo to be Going to más el verbo que les aparece. En el ejercicio número 4 le van a tener que agregar el you. Y eso es todo. So, uh, inténtenlo, give it a try. Y me confirman porque yo lo hice ayer y me funcionó súper okay. bien. Teacher, no van a escribir la oración. Dijo completa, solamente ver, be, ver, going to y el verbo. Verbo to be, going to y qué más tiene. Y el verbo, el verbo que les aparece. Verbo. Uh -huh. En la número 4 le van a agregar you al inicio. Y eso es todo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Okido, que cualquier consulta, let me know. Eh, René, tenemos one on one with you today. Si se puede quedar un par de minutitos. Los demás nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Que descansen. Have a good night. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye teacher. Have a good night. Que descansen. Good chicos. night. Thank Ay, René, denme un par de minutitos. Give me just some seconds. Está ah, bien, muy bien. Um, ahí está. ¿Cómo? Ay, teacher. Hi. Sorry, I, <laughs> okay. I no, no worries. Participate today because está ahí. Está bien ocupado. Sí, veo que está trabajando todavía, right? I see you're still working. Are you leaving early? Ya casi eh, termina. Are you leaving early? Gracias a Dios, ya. Ay, vaya, qué bueno. That sounds good. Pero todavía está en el trabajo. Are you still at work? Sí, ahorita solo, solo eh, como se llama, poner una cuestión, y, pero ya, gracias a Dios, ya todo. Ay, Mira. qué bueno. Sí, porque me imagino después irse para su casa. It's kind of troublesome. Pero le agradezco enormemente por conectarse. Ahora vi que se conectó súper temprano. Thank you so much for that. Eh, Well, in general, nuestra one on one es como para revisar cualquier temita que tengamos pendiente, any topic que se, sienta que se le es un poco difícil. En general, siento que ha avanzado bastante. Eh, veo su progreso, you know, every single day. Se comunica bastante bien, está mejorando vocabulario y le siento más fluidez. So, siento que, que la práctica daily le está ayudando bastante. And, uh, siempre hay como unas cuestiones que se nos olvidan, ¿verdad? Palabras que no conocemos, sí. que va a pasar todo el tiempo pero sí tenemos mucha fluidez, así que me alegra mucho eh, no sé si usted ya notó también un par de cambios al momento de hablar si le cuesta menos but, pero sí, al menos en las intervenciones que he tenido la oportunidad de escucharlo sí siento que va bastante, avanzando bastante rápido so, what is your, what is your, your thoughts? ¿Cuáles son sus pensamientos ahí? What are your thoughts there? Ahorita, pues, eh, practicar un poquito más. Por ejemplo, ahorita he dejado de, por, de practicar en la mañana. Como la, depende si trabajo en la tarde, trato de practicar un poco en la mañana eh, con, con la computadora, porque como ahí me pongo a escuchar y, y, a, y, a, y, a, y a ver videos. Pero... Claro, claro. Ah, ok, ok. That sounds good. Con Marvin no practica. Pues que medio practico, pero que aquel, como aquel anda en otras cosas de vez en cuando. Ah, ok. Anda más atareado okay. que yo. Ah, ahí sí, ah. ahí sí. Sí, porque sería un buen recurso también, ¿verdad? Ya que están eh, como en lo mismo, revisando los mismos temas. 
sería una buena oportunidad que se tomaran eh, como, no sé, 10 minutos para intentar recordar todo lo que hemos estado practicando, hablar presente, hablar en futuro, you know, and that would be a very nice practice. Um, ¿Cómo sienten los temas hasta ahorita? Sé que los temas ha sido un módulo un poquito pesado en cuestión de, de todo lo que estamos revisando, pasados, futuros, eh, vocabulary, But, ¿Hay algún tema que, que necesite revisar que no se recuerda o que no tuvo la oportunidad de, de practicar mucho before? Fíjese que el, el tema que más siento yo que me está costando y que va a costar bastante es el del pasado. Mm, okay. Porque como hay que, hay que memorizar bastante, bastante yeah. verbos y un montón de, de, de asuntos ahí, ¿verdad? Pero siento que ese es el tema un poquito más complicado porque... Hay veces a uno se le olvida o cuando está, se le olvida el, el pasado de, de un verbo claro. y ahí está la mente que, que no Estoy lo recuerda. Estoy intentando recordar. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno, um, well, si gusta revisemos un par de cositas. El pasado tiene toda la razón y lo más importante es memorizarse los verbos. Ese es como nuestro punto de partida. Al memorizarnos los verbos, eh, todo se vuelve como más fácil, right? It's easier. Ok, so, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, si tengo read, ¿cuál sería el pasado de read? Red. Ok, díganme un ejemplo utilizando red. I read, I read, I read the newspaper exactly. yesterday. I read the newspaper. Ahora, cuando usamos negativo, cuando, como cuando usted dice yo no leí nada, ok, eh, lo único que vamos a recordar es que ya no se pronuncia red, sino que vuelve a ser read, vuelve a ser el mismo verbo. I didn't read. Entonces, quizás este es como el punto más importante, recordarse que con didn't no cambio el verbo. So, por ejemplo, dígame cosas que no hizo ayer o que no hizo en el fin de semana o cosas que no ha hecho todavía. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, I didn't, didn't visit my mom. Ok, you didn't visit your mom. Ok. And yesterday I didn't cook okay. because uh, yesterday uh, I didn't play football. Okay, you didn't play soccer, football. Mm -hmm. Did you do exercise? Uh, Did you do exercise yesterday? Um, no, yesterday I didn't do exercise. Very good. Did you Did you watch TV? Uh, yes, I watch TV uh, at night when I arrive my home. Oh, okay, what did you watch? Uh, I watch my favorite series uh, on Netflix. What is your favorite series? I se llama ahorita estoy viendo eh, la ley de los audaces. This is my favorite. This is my favorite Okay. Do you know the name in English? Uh, sweet, 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 algo así, sweet. Sweet, ¿no? es, ajá. Swift. Es que como que cambia el, el nombre. Yes, pero, yes. El, uh -huh. Swift. Eh, pero así, así se llama. Es. Ah, okay. So tell me, ¿qué pasó ayer en la serie? Uh. Ah. Bueno, ahora sí. Yes. Tell me. Yesterday, uh, uh, como es, uh, Harry Specter uh, contratar fire. Higher, higher. Higher. Ese verbo, higher. Higher. Como es pasado, hired. Hired. Uh -huh. Yesterday, Harry Specter hired a new employee. Uh -huh. And his name is a uh, row. Okay. I, I, I don't remember. It's okay. Uh, but, It's uh, okay. He is a uh, he is person uh, he is a actor mm -hmm. he is a, a smart person. Okay. He is uh, he is a, re, como recuerda todo remember all. Remembered. All. Uh huh. He, he is remember. He has a, a, he, has a, a memory. he has a good memory. Okay. Yesterday, uh, 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 Harry Specter hired this. And, and try to help uh, uh, change change his life okay. because uh, 
this this person was a uh, como se dice ah como que que vende que vende droga oh he's a drug dealer a drug dealer yes he's, he's a, a drug, drug dealer. dealer okay in 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 try to help 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 him okay in the the first day the just just Debe le voy a cambiar el nombre. The first day de okay. Mayor Rose. Mayor Rose se llama. Okay. The first day de Mayor Rose is is was a uh, very hard because is she didn't uh, accustom or no estaba acostumbrado. She was not used to. She was, she was not used to. Mm -hmm. He was not used to. He was not used to work in a, a company. Okay. Um, but he tried to to learn uh, uh, all about the the work. Okay. Um, um, then the then the harvest inspector has had a a case because of the service the lawyers. Okay. Um, the, in his in in, in my role, uh, read a, a some case. Right. In hell, I have as it, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my rose read as a song, a song, casos. Cases. Li, li, uh, in, in hell, uh, uh, her respect. Wow. That's it. Oh my God, I'm super impressed. <laughs> I'm super impressed because me hizo un resumen. You made a summary in English, okay, about a TV program you watched. So that's impressive because no hemos estado practicando por mucho tiempo and you did it perfectly. So yes, very good. <laughs> that was good, very good. You have a lot of vocabulary. You communicate nicely. Solamente un par de cositas, you know, que se nos van con los verbos, you're right. Pero lo haces super bien. You're doing it nicely, nicely. So, you know, um, Oh, let me see, because tenemos como poquitas clases yet, but let's try to see cómo podemos memorizar los verbos. I know it's a little hard sometimes, pero tiene una lista de verbos, you know, cuando usted tenga tiempo, eh, póngase como una meta de memorizar tres verbos diarios, por ejemplo, cinco verbos diarios, presente, pasado, no los verbos más difíciles, right? Hay verbos ¿Sí? que nunca los va a utilizar. But eh, solamente eso. Otherwise, lo hace super bien. I'm super happy. I was like, oh. wow. You did it nicely, nicely. Super, super cool. So, siga avanzando. Siga viendo videos. Si está revisando videos. Continue. Eh, complete ejercicios en internet. You know. And, and I'm pretty sure. Con un par de meses más. Va a estar hablando super bien. You're going to be intermediate. Like super, super fast. I'm super happy, Rene. Así que sigue avanzando, you know, keep on going. Super good. No sí. se vaya a dar por vencido tu early. <laughs> no, That's no, nice. sí, por eso casi siempre trato de estar en la clase, aunque ande en la calle dando vueltas. Yo sé y le agradezco enormemente porque yo sé que a veces anda afuera, pero aún así lo veo conectado, you know, y participando, sí. poniendo atención. So I'm super happy for it. So gracias, mil gracias por eso. Well, it's about time. Así que lo dejo descansar. Igual yo sé que tiene cosas que hacer. Eh, nos vemos tomorrow. All right. Cualquier cosa, yeah. let me know. And, and, you know, just keep it up. All right. Que descanse, yeah. René. Nos vemos. I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.